outside is looking lovely, but inside is pretty cozy. This is a Schomburg Daily. Many people are covering their mouth and nose in public places to protect themselves and slow the spread of the COVID-19. Masks have been hard to come by and many people are starting to make their own. We have a lot of Swan Prince's fabric and have made a couple masks to see what they look like. We want to provide some for our fans out there. So we've hired a couple seamstresses who are working on making many more masks. We have both pink argyle and purple argyle available. If you want to make your own, you can buy some fabric in the description down below. Otherwise, you can hang on tight and see what kind of masks we come up with. The Odette pin pre-order will be coming soon. Limited qualities will be had, but we'll post the pre-order as soon as we have it this month. They look very lovely, so it is something very look looking forward to. Our Hidden Tales app has new pricing as before. The first five chapters are free, and now you can get the additional chapters for $1.99. We have three more chapters being published right now. You can check it out in the description below. Though also, don't forget about our other high screen game, Gator Escape. On a side note of gaming, a fan by the name of Apple Seeds has actually made an Odette dress for the Animal Crossing New Horizons that just came out. I took some pictures of it myself and it is very lovely. To have a copy of the dress for yourself, please look in the description below. It warms our hearts to see you guys out there still. Due to high demand from fans, we are releasing more karaoke versions of favorite Swamp Princess songs. They will be available on iTunes and Amazon in the next couple of weeks. And within a couple of weeks as well for YouTube versions. Currently, we have the No More Nist or Nice Guy one up, so if you want to give any suggestions for what songs you specifically want to see from any of the movies, feel free to leave a comment down below. Swan Princess has been in the news lately with all the home streaming going on. We've been ranked number three in nostalgic movies watched on Hulu. Specifically, the five nostalgic movies to watch on Hulu to help boost your happiness. To see it mentioned in the video itself, click on the description down below. And don't forget, there is more streaming info for the new Sony Kids channel of just all of our stuff on Hulu, Amazon, Sky for those in the UK. Just check it out down below. Don't forget that we have a giveaway of the Swan Princess merchandise every month. This month is the How to Offend Women in Five Syllables or Less Derek Journal. Check in the description down below for that as well. So now for the product showcase, where we look over things that are fun, new, and just possibly needed. <laughs> this month, our product showcase is for the Swan Princess series DVDs, the 12 pack, the 7 pack, and the original trilogy. We also have the individual DVDs of the Trumpet of the Swan, Royal Mystery, the Kingdom of Music, and the remastered Blu-ray. If you ever wanted to watch the whole series but didn't have time to before, now's your chance. Link in the description for those as well. And now for the Q&A corner, where fans have the questions and we have the answers. This one was asked by Courtney R. W. Williams from one of the Swan Princess Facebook groups. She asks, The character names are some of my favorite in the animated movies. Do you have any fun slash interesting origins or reasons they were chosen for the movie? We reached out to some of our staff for this, and from our character designer Steve Gordon, he says, For John Bob in particular, to underline that he was overreaching his quest to appear superior, the name was a combination of the Hoity Toity, John Paul, or some name like that, and the lower class name, Billy Bob. Though we had a lot more luck with our writer, Brian Neeson, as he was to say, Derek was just one of the names we tried. We really like Eric, but then we were reminded that the name was also the name of the prince in The Little Mermaid. I can't remember the other names that were in the running. Initially, we thought Derek was too contemporary, but we went with it for one with the early drafts, and it just stuck. Same thing happened later with Elise. It felt too modern, but as time went on, it seemed right and stuck. In regards to John Bob, in early drafts of promotional materials, his name was Shipley, but we weren't satisfied with just that. I was looking into a play on French male names like Jean-Claude and Jean-Pierre, and I knew I wanted the second half to feel out of place, something that contradicted the Frenchiness of Jean, like Jean-Ned or Jean-Larry. Jean-Bob seemed to just have the right sound and level of ridiculousness. 
As mentioned in the movie, Speed's real name is Lorenzo Trudgelong. We really like it, but we felt it would be better to have a nickname that cut against the turtle stereotype. Speed felt right because it mostly sounds like a name that was sarcastically bestowed by John Bob, along with Mr. Molasses and a host of others. Huberta and Bromley both came from name books. They just felt right. Huberta especially seemed to just match her. It sounds rigid and royal. Lord Rogers was a tip to the hat to a many Hollywood butler or valet named Rogers. Originally, Rothbard's sidekick was just called the Hag, but in sequels, she became known as Bridget, which I liked because it seemed like a cute, unexpected name, given that it was the name of the Von Trapp child from Sound of Music. If y'all can believe it, this is the Schomburg's first year anniversary. We have done 12 whole of them and it has been a great experience to be here with you guys. It's been super fun to talk to you all and share the news, and I'm super looking forward to another year of being with you guys. See you soon!